Well, we got this old wheelbarrow here. I'm going to try to get the arms off of it. And you can see the tires already gone and whatnot. And make it one of them human sled drag pull things, I guess. Getting older, need to stay in shape. Ain't like there ain't enough to do on the farm. And when the kids get done with their chores, well, they got that extra energy. We'll put them on this thing and whatnot. And the, the idea is to get an eye bolt through there and some kind of harness on it and just walk with it, you know. Pulling it for exercise, we can put weights in it or wood or blocks or bricks or whatever. But see if we can make a mess. Well, we took our grinder with the cutting wheel and cut all that off cut all the bolts off they were rusted there was no no spinning them didn't want to try to bend them because i didn't want to waller out them holes no bigger than what they are i don't know if too much dirt starts getting in there we may we may try to weld them shut and maybe even weld a two by four on the bottom of it for it to glide on so it doesn't rust anymore or bolt i don't know if i said weld the two by four but bolt the wooden two by four like i said we can just try to fill that in with the weld but anyways eh? and pieces seem better days but that's still pretty decent well we got to lean it up here and it wasn't real hard to you know where are you gonna put this bad boy at you know we're gonna drill it in here somewhere and what now? How do you know where center is? Well, it ain't real hard. You got two holes right there. You just gotta get the old measure tape out and measure in between them. We had eight and a half, so we made a made a mark at four and a quarter. And now we just gotta, you know, make our mind up. We want to drill it right here. Or we want to go up or down a little bit. And I think we're gonna just put it right there in between them somewhere. Well, there we go. Got the eye bolt in there. Just kind of stuff we cobbled together to get this going on. Now I gotta find something to make some kind of pulling strap out of. Well, I hate to use this perfectly good strap for sled towing or whatever, but Anyway, sometimes they're too long anyway, so that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to have to take that, fold it over, because then you're going to tie a knot or something over here. So, you're going to need that. So, let's fold it over again to where it's about the same. Because you're going to have to tie a knot or a loop on the other end and put it around your shoulders or the pull or whatever. And then we just got to figure out how much to go forward and back. A lot of them, I guess, come with 7 to 10 feet. So, It'd be about, you know, five foot and then it would come back. So we need to, I guess, go down about 10 feet and give it a cut and see what happens. Well, here you go. We got a couple loops tied in there. It's on there. My son and my wife be here in a minute from the grocery store and maybe we can get him to demo it for us or something. I hear a donkey in the background. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Maybe we can hook him up like a mule or something. Pop a whip on him. See what happens. Well, maybe it'll give. Maybe it won't.
I guess it's still not heavy enough.